lovelies if you are new here hey girl hey and if you are an existing subscriber thank you so much for your continuous support welcome to part one of this super sexy two-piece outfit for summertime or springtime if you like what you just saw in the intro stay tuned but let's just get right into this video I took one of my bikini swim tops to use as a measure for my top as far as the length, not the width of it. I love how tight it fits on me. It keeps these babies lifted. So I'm going to be using this bikini top to make my pattern. So I'm gonna spread out my tracing paper and trace the matching length that I want it to be. tracing the curvature of my bikini because it's unnecessary to do for the type of top that we're creating. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace a straight line. I'm going to add about a half an inch above the line that I traced because again, I don't want the width to be that small. So first let me straighten out the bottom using my pattern ruler. Now I'm going to curve and trace. Hey loves, I just wanted to hop on my precision cam really quickly to go over this in great detail for you all. So the reason why I'm doing slanted lines on the sides instead of a straight line is because that's where my hips begin to curve. And so I want it to lay on my body a certain way. Not everyone has drastic curves. So if you're not curvy, feel free to go ahead and make a straight line. But if you have curves and you want it to be form fitting to your body, Body, you can go ahead and follow this step. Now I am tracing the width before I add on the extra inches. Now that I have straightened out my line, I am going to add that half an inch to the top. Just to clarify the width or should I say height of the bikini that I used to trace my pattern it was way too short for me. So I'm gonna make it longer by adding a half an inch or maybe a full inch to the top portion. So let's mark a half an inch. Now I'm going to add about a half an inch seam allowance. I am not sure if I'm gonna add elastic on to the back of the top, but um, I wanna add that seam allowance just in case I decide to do so or just in case I decide to do anything else with it. All right, now that I've added a half an inch seam allowance to the bottom, I am going to add a 0.25 seam allowance to the sides. So that way when I merge the sides, it can still be the exact width that I intend on it being. I don't understand why you're thinking of, you had me alone. I don't understand why you're thinking of, you had me alone. So 
now I'm going to add a half an inch seam allowance to the top so that I can fold it over. So I'm just going to point to each side just so I can know how much seam allowance I added. So I'm gonna start by folding my tracing paper in half so I can then trace the back pattern to the front, if that makes sense. Like you can literally see the back drawing on the front. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to find the center of the back pattern. But if you have bigger busts, you can simply put on a shirt that has a seam down the side and measure from that side seam to your center bust, which will then give you the width, if that makes sense. So I'm measuring 12.25. So half of 12.25 will be here, a little over six inches. So let's create a line and let's find the center for the top because the top is a bit wider. So I added the line in the middle. I'm going to write on each side to add a half inch seam allowance, which is very, very, very important because that's how we're going to insert our strings. I did it the lazy way. You can literally trace these patterns separately and just add the seam allowance, but you know, I'm trying to do it real quick fast. It's me on the precision cam once again. I just wanted to clarify that after you've traced the back piece for your front piece, once you make the center down the line and cut it in half, your pieces should end up looking like this. So do you so extra? But I know I'm the same. So the fabric I'm using is from my company's fabric. Unfortunately, you do need a business license to shop on that website, but don't worry, I'll be happy to link in my description box below places you can find similar fabric. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. I am now going to begin cutting out the tops front pieces, but I want to share these very important cutting instructions. Because we're going to be adding strings around the center bust of the top, it is very important that you cut the left and right pattern on to the fold. Because when you cut it onto the fold, it'll automatically be double line giving you that area which will then provide you with room to sew a straight line down the center bus so you can have an outlet for the string so in other words this is how your pattern should or should not look after cutting it on the fold also do not forget to add that half an inch seam allowance at the fold especially if you're following the exact steps that i am doing if you all remember earlier i did it the lazy way by just tracing the back pattern onto the front and notate me a reminder to add that half an inch seam allowance at the fold. That half of an inch seam allowance is what you're going to channel your strings through. So muy, muy, muy importante. Do not forget to add <laughs> that half inch seam allowance at the fold. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'm going to follow your lead, but we could go all night.
So I'm now going to start by taking my sewing pens and putting them on the edge, which is where the seam is, so I can hold the fabric into place. So here's how your pen should somewhat look. After adding your sewing pens, you are going to fold your fabric in half, right side facing, and sew down those horizontal parallel lines that I've drawn. Where you see those highlighted circles, do not sew. So in other words, for both the left and the right side, you will be leaving a half inch seam allowance where I've marked those blue lines and sewing along where you see the red lines. Now all of my calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail. I separate ways ain't go in well. No. But when we get back, it's like oh my all bad all day, but the night I get that good, good to react right. So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? Now I am taking my top's back pattern and folding the out seams over 0.25 inches and sewing down a straight line so we can create a neat seam. Collected, but you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence I get careless Long as you know I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dressing gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blemished, make amends you should have three pattern pieces in front of you. So what I mean by joining the end seams, you are going to connect all three of your patterns together, wrong side facing, if your fabric has a wrong and right side. In my case, mine doesn't, it's the same all around. And then join the end seams together where I've circled. Try to control our emotions. If we on the right side of passion, we can share love in the ocean. Finally, we get to make the string. To find the measurement for your string, you are going to place the tape measure at your center bust and pull it all the way to the other side to join your center bust again. Then take that measure and add two inches. Mine is measuring 28 inches plus two inches added, it's 30 inches. And the reason why I'm adding an additional two inches is because I want my tie to stretch very long so that I am able to do versatile looks. Moving along to cutting, cutting the pattern out is fairly simple. You're just going to cut a long, narrow rectangle. If you are using a two-way stretch fabric, you want to make sure you're cutting alongside the stretchiest side, meaning when you pull your fabric left to right, it is the stretchiest. If you're using a four-way stretch fabric, you don't have to worry about this detail because your fabric stretches the same no matter what direction you're pulling it. part one for this beautiful sexy spring slash summer two-piece set for those of you who watch this video in full thank you so much for your support please do not forget to like and subscribe or share this video with your friends your engagement helps my performance in the youtube analytics 
more than you know. If any of you were confused on some parts in this tutorial, please feel free to comment your questions down below. I love engaging with you all. Lastly, for those of you who are interested in making the bottom piece, please watch part two. It is super easy. Don't be intimidated. You know I'm gonna walk y'all through step by step. And so go and check that video out. As always, until next time.